So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use an array formula to solve an equation in algebra. So here's the equation, 9x minus 7 equals 47. Uh, so we need to know the value of x, but the trick is that x b belongs to a domain, meaning that x could be a 5, a 6, a 7, or an 8. So as long as the condition is meant that the left side of the equation equals the right side. As long as one of these numbers gives us the right answer, then it evaluates to true. You might be surprised how easy it is using an array formula once, once you understand the syntax. So let's try it out. Equals, and we're going to do an OR statement. Oops. Equals OR, and I'm going to say 9 multiplied by, and I'm going to use the curved bracket, which is for array, or this is an array constant actually, 5, 6, 7, and 8, all of these values inside of the curved brackets, minus our 7, and then I'm simply going to say equals 47. Put in the closing bracket, and then pr press Control shift enter because it's an array formula, and you see it's true. So that was almost too easy, but let me just show you uh, what's inside of the formula. So when we look at the formula bar here, um, basically what it's doing is when you have these numbers hard-coded within the brackets, it's doing the multiplication of all of these, 9 times 5, 9 times 6, 9 times 7, 9 times 8. So I'll show you, I'll highlight this portion, I'll press the F9 key in the keyboard, and here we see 45, 54, 63, 72. So now, each of these is going to take the value in minus 7. So now let me highlight the next step like this. Oops, I have to do it perfectly here. I press F9 again, and we have four numbers inside of our array. So as long as one of those, because we're using the OR function, as long as one of them is equal to 47, then we get the true.